Right, so now we're gonna make something sweet. We're gonna make a cheesecake, but we're gonna use uh, Manuri cheese, which is a Greek style cheese. But if you can't get your hands on that, you can use a, a simple cream cheese. Now, in terms of the cream element, we're gonna use a, a thick dollop cream. And what's delicious about this cream is it hasn't got much moisture. So it really keeps this, uh, this cheesecake nice and dense, but nice and rich. So to make our biscuit base for our cheesecake, we're gonna need 50 grams of flour, 50 grams of almond meal, 75 grams of sugar, and 70 grams of butter. We basically whiz that up until it turns into a sort of crumb consistency. And now that's ready to pop into our cake mold. Okay, now we just need to pack this down nice and flat. Now we're gonna blind bake the cheesecake base, and that's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Right, time to make our cheesecake mixture. And the first step is to take 650 grams of this Manuri cheese. 150 grams of plain caster sugar. Three whole eggs and two egg yolks. Next, some vanilla pod, which is packed full of flavor. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of zestiness to this cheesecake. That's just gonna freshen it up. And that's a little bit of orange, lime and lemon zest. The final bit, the bit that's gonna tie this cheesecake together, is of course our Buller Thick Dollop Cream, and there's 35% uh, fat in this. Now, if you really want, you can use uh, this pure cream. I mean, this stuff is, uh, this stuff's the Rolls Royce. This is 45% fat in this. You know, this is a, a big night out. Oh, this stuff is fantastic. Okay, now time to blend all of our ingredients up. There you have it, as easy as that. Our base has been blind baking for about 20 minutes. It's nice and golden brown. The next step is to pop our cheesecake mixture inside and see what that dollop cream's done. It's just added a real richness and shine to this mixture. Now this is ready to go into a, a preheated oven at 90 degrees for about an hour, just until that mixture sets. Now, if you want, you can serve this cheesecake as it is. It'll be absolutely delicious. But we've just made a little passion fruit jelly up here just to go over the top. So that now will go into the fridge for about an hour until that cools right down. And we'll pull it out, cut it, and eat it. That is special.